Welcome to this video. Today I want to talk about the different power options you have with your computer, that being the option to shut down, put the computer into sleep or hibernation mode. I want to talk about each one of those and when you should use each one of those options. Now, for some of you looking at this menu, you may not even have hibernate listed as an option. And so before I go over anything else, I just want to show you how to add hibernate to this list of options. So to do that, if I just come down here to the bottom and type in power, the very first option that comes up is power and sleep settings. I'm just going to go ahead and click on that. And then off to the right hand side where it says additional power settings. If I click on that and then go to the top left hand side where it says choose what the power buttons do. If I click on that option and then come up here to the top where it says change settings that are currently unavailable and click on it. We then have the option to add a check mark next to hibernate which will then add it to the list of power options here on the start menu. Now before we can talk about when to use each power option we need to talk about what each power option actually does and so obviously shutting the computer down does just that it turns the computer completely off. However it is still important to note that even when the computer is completely shut down it is still drawing very minimal very small amount of power so the only way to completely eliminate that is to disconnect it from the power socket, but that's not worth doing. Again, it's very minimal as far as the power that it is drawing on shutdown mode. The second option is sleep mode. Basically what this does is it copies your computer session into the computer RAM. So if you have any files or uh, apps open, it copies that into the RAM and then puts the computer into a low power state. So that way, when you come back to the computer and awaken it from sleep mode, because RAM's quick, it can quickly reopen those files and apps and get you right back to where you left off before you put it into sleep. Now hibernation or hibernate mode is similar in the sense that it copies the session, but instead of copying it to RAM, it copies it to your boot drive and then puts the computer into an even lower power state than sleep. In fact, it's so low it's pretty close to when the computer's completely powered off. So next comes up the question as to when to use each one of those options, shut down, sleep, or hibernate. And also people want to know, do one of those have more wear and tear on your computer than others? Which one should you use to add to longevity of your computer? Uh, so the basic rule of thumb that I would recommend is I would, I would not turn the computer on and off more than once a day maximum. If you're going to be away from the computer for just a short time, I would use sleep mode uh, because it's, it's minimizing the amount of power that the computer is using, but it also lets you get back into your session very quickly because it's copying it to your RAM. If you're going to be away from the computer more than an hour or two, I would definitely use Hibernate. In fact, if you use an SSD as your boot drive, Hibernation or hibernate mode isn't much slower than sleep because SSDs are quicker than just regular hard drives. Now let's be clear, all three of these modes will have wear and tear on your computer. The only way to completely eliminate that is to never use your computer, to never power it on ever, never use it. I would, again, I wouldn't turn your computer on and off more than once a day just because when you do that it does have a bit of a power surge that does go through your computer. But at the same time, I wouldn't recommend just leaving your computer on all day either, unless you are using it. If you are using it, absolutely leave it on, but just letting it sit there does use wear and tear. So I would, if, if you're using Hibernate while you're away from the computer and you're gonna be gone for more than a couple hours, that would actually probably be one of the best options to use. It's important to also note that when it comes to computer hardware and computer components, there's been improvements made over the years. And so the wear and tear isn't what it used to be or as bad as it used to be. And the biggest concern used to be with hard drives, which if you don't even have a hard drive in your computer, that helps to minimize the impact of wear and tear of turning your computer on and off or using one of these power modes than it would if you're using just a, a regular hard drive. So really, all of these options are going to have wear and tear on your computer, but if you follow the basic rule of thumb that I've gone over, that will help. That's everything for this video. If you do have any comments or questions, please post them down below. And as always, thank you very much for watching this video.